And this is Professor Richard Owen, the man who acquired that fossil and built this museum. Although he disagreed with Darwin's views on evolution, he was one of the great scientists of his time, and he had a particular flair for interpreting fossils. In 1839, a huge thigh bone was sent to the museum from New Zealand. Owen deduced from its internal structure that it must have belonged to a bird. If so, it must have been a giant. The Maoris of New Zealand had stories of giant flightless birds that had once roamed their islands, but Europeans had dismissed them as myths. But eventually, Professor Owen acquired enough bones of these huge birds to put together a complete skeleton of one of them. This was no myth. Maoris, in their legend, had called it a mower, and Professor Owen, in his researches, had proved that it once had existed. But was it the largest bird that had ever lived? There were several different species of moa, but this one was the biggest. It stands three meters tall. But is this really what it looked like when it was alive? You can tell how an animal holds its head from the junction between the skull and its neck. If that is underneath the skull, then its neck would have been upright. But this mower's neck joint is at the back of the skull, so it must have held its neck more horizontally. Like this. So, was the giant mower the biggest bird that has ever existed? Well, if it craned up its neck, it was almost certainly the tallest. You might think that such a gigantic bird would have no enemies in the remote and isolated forests of New Zealand. Well, there's also a Maori legend of a huge predatory bird, an eagle, that existed at the same time. And what is more, there are bones to prove it. This colossal bird was nearly twice as heavy as today's most powerful eagle. Bringing down a giant mower must have been a huge task. They, too, were strong and heavy. But the eagle had powerful eyesight. a beak the size of a butcher's cleaver, and razor-sharp talons as big as the claws of a tiger. The Greek for grappling hooks is harpax, and that word gives this bird its name. 
This is Harpagornis. It was a deadly predator. It was the largest eagle that has ever existed. And it lived in the same forests as the mowers. We know that Harpagoris preyed on mowers because mower skeletons have been found with holes stabbed through their pelvic bones that exactly match the grasp of the eagle's claws. It was probably even strong enough to cling to a mower's back with one foot while it slashed at its victim's neck with the other. but it looks as if this mower is going to escape, for now. 